Hello and welcome back and Happy New Year to everyone. I'm going to be doing a three-part series of New Year spells and rituals for you, the viewers. The first one I'm going to show you is going to be a hedge of protection herbal mixture that you sprinkle around your home, your thresholds, the four corners of your house in order to set up a hedge of protection for the coming year. To start out, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a mortar and pestle. You're going to need a dish to put the final product. You're going to need some incense, some anointing oil, and some protection herbs. And I'm going to go over each one that I'm using and then also give you some suggestions, some other herbs that you can use if you don't have these ones in particular. So the first thing that I'm using is witch's salt. This is some witch's salt that I made and I have a video that tells you exactly how to make it and I will leave that link in the description box as well. So witch's salt is an awesome protection herb. It absorbs and deflects all forms of negative energy and negative entities, including curses and hexes, and it sends them back from whence they came. The next herb that I'm going to be using is rue. Now, rue is an awesome witch's herb. Rue protects from negativity, negative forces, particularly that of the evil eye curse. Have you ever heard that old adage, they will rue the day? That adage was derived from rue, the herb. Anyone who wishes you ill will or harm of any kind will rue the day with rue. The next protection herb that I'm using in this blend is going to be wormwood. Wormwood protects from negativity. It protects particularly from psychic attacks and general misfortune. So let's say you're just having a bad day or a run of bad luck, not anything that anybody put on you, but let's face it, we all have bad luck sometimes. Wormwood will protect you from general misfortune, and that's why I love wormwood. The next herb that I'm using is Texas Lantana. Now, not everybody's gonna have Texas Lantana, but there are other herbs that you can substitute for this. This is some that I nurtured and harvested, grew. It has a special connection to me. Texas Lantana is great for setting up personal boundaries. Texas Lantana gives you the strength and courage to rise up against adversity. It gives you strength in repelling people and situations that do not have your best intention at heart. Next, I'm using red chili flakes. Now pepper is great because it's hot and it burns and it helps to form a fiery wall of protection around you and your home. Not only that, but it repels the negativity, burns it away, and what happens when you burn something is you purify it. So it burns away the negativity and leaves you with purified intention, purified positivity. And lastly, I have lavender. Lavender is a very protective herb. The reason I love lavender is because it dispels all forms of negativity and it leaves in the place of that negativity, peace and tranquility. To anoint my candles, I'm just using some reversal oil that I made a while back. I also have a little dish to put my finished product and I have some black crystals. I have a black and a white candle. The black candle is to absorb negativity and the white candle is to leave in its place positivity, peace, and love. So if you don't have all of these herbs, that's okay because there is a myriad of great protection herbs out there that you can use. You can use rosemary, sage, juniper, cedar, angelica, or mugwort, just to name a few. Also, it would be great if you had some incense to light. I'm using Nagchampa just because it's my favorite and it has 
protective qualities as well. Sage would be great, lavender, rose, anything really that you prefer that has a protective aspect. I very much highly recommend that you cast a circle before you start making your protective mixture. And the reason why is because you're going to build energy with your intention. Whenever you open your circle at the end, all that energy is going to burst forth into the universe backed by your intention. Before you cast your circle, make sure that you have everything that you need so that you don't have to break your circle and close it back up. So because I'm going to be using this herbal mixture as a hedge of protection around my own home and for my own family, I'm going to go ahead and cast a quick circle and I'll show you how I do that. And I mostly do it by visualization. The reason why is because for years and years, I actually walked my circle and I can see myself in my mind's eye doing that very clearly. If you're new, I highly recommend you casting your circle physically instead of visually, at least the first few times until you can get a good visualization of what it is to cast a circle. I recommend lighting some candles. I'm not gonna do that because it messes with the filming and I'm gonna be lighting candles at the very end. But I am gonna light some incense. I cast my circle thrice about to keep the evil spirits out. I cast my circle thrice about to keep the evil spirits out. I cast my circle thrice about to keep the evil spirits out. I conjure thee, O circle of power, that thou may be as a meeting place of love, joy, and truth, a shield against all wickedness and evil, a boundary between man and the realms of the mighty ones, a rampart and a protection that shall preserve and contain the energy that I shall raise within thee. Wherefore, I do bless and consecrate thee in the name of my goddess Hecate. Circumference and center woven together, my circle is now complete. So I just placed my mortar and pestle to the side. And that's because as you add each ingredient to your mortar, you want to take a moment to connect to the spirit and the energy of each thing that you're going to put into your mixture. I connect to the energy and the spirit of witch's salt, which I formed with my own two hands, that it will serve as a barrier to absorb and deflect any and all negative energy that comes my way, and that it will serve as an impenetrable shield protecting my home, my life, and the lives of everyone who resides within these walls. And this is gonna go around your whole home. So you want to put a good amount of herbs into your mortar. I connect with the energy and the spirit of Rue, ward against negative energy, curses, hexes, and the evil eye. Protect against all envy, hatred, and malevolent forces so that anyone who wishes harm upon myself or anyone who resides within these walls will rue the day that they sent negativity this way. I connect with the energy and the ancient spirit of Wormwood. May you protect from psychic attacks and general misfortune of all kind, whether they be set intentionally or not. I connect with the burning power and the spirit of pepper. May you form a fiery wall of protection around my home, protecting all that reside within. Consecrate and purify that negative energy into positivity and goodness for everyone who resides within these walls. connect to the strength and the loving energy and spirit of Texas Lantana that I grew and nurtured with my own hands. 
serve as a barrier and a personal boundary around my entire home, around my heart, and the hearts and minds of all who reside within these walls. <coughs> and finally, I connect with the powerful, peaceful, beauty and strength of lavender. May it dispel all negativity and leave in its place harmony, love and peace for all that reside within these walls. So as you all can see, my mortar is really full. And that's because you need a really good amount of this because not only are we going to be dressing our candles, we're gonna be sprinkling this on the four corners of the outside of our home. We're gonna sprinkle it along the thresholds of your doors. If you have a garage door, you're gonna sprinkle it there. If you have gates, you're gonna sprinkle it along those thresholds as well. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this together. And I'm going to put all my intention into it as I'm grinding. It really helps me as I'm grinding to speak aloud an incantation or chant. So my chant is going to be, protect my home, protect my life, banish negativity, banish strife. And I say that over and over as I'm grinding. Protect my home, protect my life. Banish negativity and banish strife. So it's gonna take a little while, but you can get it all ground together. And now I'm gonna place it very carefully in a dish because the witch's salt has a tendency to wanna to puff up. And here's my finished product. And I'm gonna sit it right in the middle of a plate or a tile. I'm gonna sit some black crystals around. They're going to absorb negativity. I have black tourmaline. I have some black obsidian. Some black chert. And I'm just gonna set a chicken foot here. Next, I'm going to anoint my candles. And I put the oil on it going outward because I'm trying to repel something. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the mixture on my candle. I'm gonna set my white candle directly on my tile. Now I'm going to anoint my black candle as well. Anointing it outward to send away negativity of all sorts from your home and from your life. I'm gonna dress the candle with some of my herbs and I'm gonna place my black candle. So now I'm gonna light these candles. The black candle is going to absorb negativity, repel all negativity, negative entities or forces, hexes, curses, the evil eye. It's going to absorb and repel this away. In its place, the white candle is gonna provide peace, tranquility, positivity into your life. As the candles burn down, the energy is going to infuse into your herbal mixture, empowering it and charging it. One thing that I really like to do when I'm making an herbal mixture like this, I like to cleanse, consecrate, and charge it full of powerful energies. And the way I do that is I call upon the powers of the north, south, 
east and west, the earth, air, fire, and water. I call upon the dark mother, the maiden, and crone, my goddess Hecate. I call upon the old ones, the ancients, the sun, moon, and stars. I cleanse and purify this protective herbal blend. I charge it with your powerful energies and I consecrate it in your names. And then I'm just going to kind of pass it over the flames and through the incense. I'm gonna stay with this as the candles burn all the way down, infusing my blend with its powerful energies, charging it full of even more protection. You want to put all your energy into it. It's great to say your incantation or your chant again, which is protect my home, protect my life, banish negativity, banish strife. Another thing I really like to do is play music while I'm doing spells and rituals. Now that distracts some people, so do what feels right to you. When the candles burn all the way down and it's through infusing my blend with power and energy, I'm going to open my circle, letting all that energy go forth with might into the universe, backed by my intention, which is to form a barrier of protection around my home, a fiery wall of protection for the new year. Then I'm going to take my blend and I'm going to go outside. I'm going to sprinkle it on the four corners of my home. Then I'm going to sprinkle it across the thresholds. This is a really great way to start your new year, full of protection for you and all your loved ones that reside within your home. It's really powerful, charged full of energy of the elements, the goddess, the ancient ones. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please join me for my next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.